CNN's Ann McDermott reports it's a skill that many pet owners want their dogs to learn. What do Easy, Tess, Apollo, Deckard, and Annie have in common? It's called the herding instinct. And if your hound has the herding instinct, not the howling instinct, the herding instinct. Anyway, if your dog has it, come see Jerry Stewart. He trains hounds. Trains them in the art of herding sheep. His own dog, Easy, is so good at it, he can sometimes simply drop them in their tracks. See? Don't worry. He's okay. Just a little dazed by Easy's dazzling display. Not sure if your cur can cut it? Well, Carrie Ann can. Does she hurt sheep? She sure does. Yes, Stuart taught this lots of ops so. Why do you do it? I love it. And no, you don't have to go way out in the country to some isolated ranch. Stuart trains on a patch of land in the greater Los Angeles area. Freeway close. Real close. Oh, time for Annie's first lesson. I've never seen livestock before. She's 10 years old. Mom's decided she wants to um, get some more zip in her elderly dog. Mature. So let's see if this old, uh, this mature dog can learn a new trick. Okay, let her go. So, how was it, Annie? Stuart trains these dogs with sheep, of course, but he knows dogs that herd ducks and geese and trout. Yes, he claims to have seen a dog herd trout. Children? They all work children if they have nothing else to do. Which is good, because not these sheep herding dog owners owns any sheep. So why do they want their dogs to do this? Because the dogs like it. And this man says it gives Deckard here a real good workout. Which he thinks is real good because Deckard is... Deckard is... He's a fat dog. <laughs> Meanwhile, Annie's having a swell time. Remember, she's never seen livestock before, so for her, this is a culturally enriching experience. However, one man's culturally enriching experience is another man's pain in the... Ann McDermott, CNN, Long Beach, California. And remember, you heard your first... That wraps up Crime News for this Wednesday. I'm Martin Savage. Thanks for joining us. Inside Politics is up next.